Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time of stumbling by this channel, stumbling on this channel, then hit the subscribe button, like this video and share with your friends. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. You're the real one. And last week we talked about finding your profitable niche, finding that perfect niche where you're not going to burn out of ideas or content for YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about getting those content. I mean, I'm going to be teaching you guys and sharing with you guys some of the tools that I use and some of the ways and techniques that I use to get content ideas for my YouTube channel. So if that's something you're interested in, then definitely keep on watching. I'll see you guys in the If you're watching this video still, that means you're very much interested in finding out ways to get content ideas for YouTube. Trust me, I've been in that I've been in that position where I was I just burnt out and I didn't know what to film. I was just clueless. Like I was set up and I'll be thinking, what should I film? What would my video be? But right now I have I have two pages of videos that I can film. And trust me, I think with these videos I can be filming for the I'm good for the rest of the year. If I consistently upload these videos every week for the rest of the year, I'm good with this list so i'm going to be sharing with you guys i'm going to teach you guys how to fish and then before sharing the fish with you guys <laughs> at the end because i want you guys to know these tips and for you to implement them so if you finish filming all the video i just i'm going to be sharing with you guys at the end of this video you would still be able to find more video ideas by using these techniques let's get started firstly i have this software not software actually it's a chrome extension i'm just going to share my screen so i can show you guys what i'm talking about so command shift 5 to share my screen let's let me show you guys the most obvious one so the most obvious one is just simply going to google.com so you go to google.com on your laptop right and since you've identified your niche as fitness and you want to be making videos for pregnant women who are you know trying to get back in shape after giving birth to a child work out for post delivery so once you click the space bar you're going to see all the videos like video ideas literally what you want to do at this stage is get a pen and paper and start writing out all these video ideas so one you can make a workout routine video for post pregnancy secondly you can make a workout plan so a workout plan is different from a routine routine you're showing them the workout and i suppose and then a plan is basically going to include the meal you know what you eat in a day how you work out how many times you work out like it's more detailed than your routine you can also make a a beginner's postpartum workout you can make a post baby workout um, plan and diet these are basically all the video ideas ab, ab workout post pregnancy for post pregnancy exercise after pregnancy to reduce stomach ache 10 video ideas good right another way i want to show you guys is using a chrome extension it's called vidiq so what you want to do is basically just go to vidiq.com I have both vidiq and tubebody installed on my google chrome um these are i would say youtube assistant and youtube um, analytic assistant they help in making your videos more optimized and you know suggesting hashtags you can use so they it's limited to three suggested hashtags but if you want more you can buy purchase one of their plans but i'm good with the free one because i already have these other tools and these other ways where i get my keywords and what's not and my hashtag so i don't really need to pay 29 dollars i think that's how much the this thing is so okay so you sign in this is what it looks like you basically just sign in put in your email so since you have a youtube account a gmail you just go to sign up with google account and make sure to use your youtube youtube channel email if not you know you won't be able to use it on your channel because it's going to be linked to your channel so if you're using another email address that email address needs to have a channel and for you to use more than um re register more than one channel you need to pay a fee so but with this you're good so what this does is that it helps you in um suggesting let me show you let me go back to my own personal so i'm just going to go to my okay so once you've done the google search um youtube is also a bit similar to because it's still the same company that owns it but just to be absolutely sure that um you're not repeating some of the topics or you're getting like actual 
um, actual keywords that people are searching for on YouTube itself and not just on Google, the whole Google. So you go to the YouTube search and then you type in what you typed on, on the Google Navigator. So that's workout for post-pregnancy. And already you can see some topics, ideas that will come down in the drop-down menu. So you just go through this and if there's anyone that interests you, you just typically jot it down so now back to what i was talking about vidiq so when you search this um it's gonna come up and then tell you so you're gonna see three key things key um search volume competition and i think basically those two so what search volume means is that a lot of people are um a, a, the number of people searching for it and then competition refers to the number of um the level of competition you're gonna have to face in terms of because a lot of people are filming those videos so what's your the opportunity for you to explode or as you can see workout for post-pregnancy has a low search volume that means if i make this this video myself only myself and my family members will be watching it so on you on vidiq is telling me that people are not really searching for it. it's just 17 out of 100 which is actually very low competition too is also high i wonder how competition will be high if nobody's searching for it so sometimes these things are a bit tricky but you can see the videos that other people are making around this topic you can see postpartum ex exercise after six weeks and that's two years ago and you can also see 5.2k views um and she has 918 so another way for you to also see if the content that you're about to film so you don't waste your time and make content and you know it doesn't make any sense so all the videos you've listed down you want to start typing them like one after the other into youtube search engine and see what people are what kind of videos people are making that would also give you an idea of how you should tweak your title for a better opportunity you know to show up on one the search bar or when people watch the person's video youtube should be able to suggest you your own video after diaz um one other way to see the promising value of your topic or of, of your content is to look at the number of subscribers and number of views the person got on that video so if you look at postpartum exercises after six weeks and you see that 5.2 views um two years ago that's really low like for two years this is what the person was able to garner and this is this is the number of subscribers the person got so that takes us back to what vidiq said right then you look at the next one 30 minutes um postnata workout burn fat and tone up after pregnancy three years ago 800k views and 566k so just to save us time you can also filter it and say in the last one year so i'm going to just do i'm going to i'm going to do just that and now we have a more recent one so post-pregnancy workout you can see workout for post-pregnancy didn't work out so <laughs> apparently post-pregnancy workout sounds a lot better um so let's look at the already you can see that this video this content won't make any sense because you can see 72.9k subscriber she has a lot of subscriber but why is she having 4.4k views that means mm, this video is not next thing you think about another idea so you have you already have 17 video ideas already figure out what idea which video content will have a high search volume and low competition so once you have a high search volume and low competition you've gotten yourself a hit a hit do you understand so for example since i'm into makeup let's do the ordinary peeling solution say i want to do a video on this right and already you can see that this video is going to if i made a video on the ordinary peeling solution that the video is going to do well why look at the search volume search volume is 61 out of 100 and it's already towards the green so that means that these people are really searching for this video and then competition is medium meaning that if i made a video on the ordinary peeling solution people are going to be searching for it and people are definitely going to watch it and my competition will not be high meaning that people when when i upload the video at least the first two pages of the youtube search um search page that my video is going to show up so let's now look at just to confirm what vidiq is saying 
we look at um, the first one. She has 23,800 23, subscribers. And she made this video nine months ago, meaning that it's a recent video in one year, right? And she has 2.1 views. Wow. Wow. What, that, what does that tell you? <laughs> that even though she has a small subscriber base a lot of people watch that video meaning that people are searching for it another reason why i like vidaiq is that once you sign up you have the option to pick um you know to tell them to send you top most viewed videos for every week so it's called a 5k views per hour video so those are videos that have gotten 5k views in one hour meaning that people are really watching that video like it's very popular so usually they would send me an email with the list and then you see the list of all the videos and then you just make your selection but make sure that the pick the video that your video idea you're picking from there actually makes sense it relates to your content niche so i can remember that before um this cut bunny's makeup like blue they sent me an email like it was part of the videos they sent and in my mind i was like who the hell is scott bunny's but in my head i just thought okay this video might actually be interesting the next set they sent me they sent me scott and um, somebody trying scott bunny's and it wasn't, it wasn't kelechi this was way before kelechi did her video meaning that if i had done my video before kelechi did hers my video would have blown by now so lesson learned since then i'm always very particular whenever they send me lists i look at them and if those videos that are videos that i can do i can do immediately i i go ahead and i do them immediately so that's another way for you to get video ideas um the the first way is for you to use websites it's called keyword everywhere so you go to keyword keyword every just search for it in your google stuff and it's going to come up so it's going to come up once it come up, comes up you're going to see it at the very top so what you want to do is install for chrome once you install for chrome it's going to send uh, an api key to you in your email and once you get that you have to impute it for you to activate it so what this basically does is for example let's say i wanted to make the the ordinary um peeling solution that i told you guys i wanted to do so the ordinary peeling solution so if you look carefully at this the right hand side of my screen you'd notice that it has related keywords and then it has people also searched for so related keywords tells me the other words that people are using to search for this particular video meaning that when i film this this video eventually i should, should i should consider putting all these keywords in my hashtag so if people search for it that means people are definitely going to find my video then the people searched also for category it tells you the other videos um related to the video that you're going to, going to film or the video you filmed already that people are searching for so for example the ordinary ahba reddit 10 lactic acid for fm for face um the ordinary hydroronic acid to be you know, all the related so i can see the other ordinary products so meaning that if i make videos on any of these topics people are definitely going to watch because people are searching for it finally <laughs> you guys wait for it wait for it um you want to type ask um ask the public so you basically just type ask the ask the public and once you once you search for it the first the first website is it so what you want to do is type what you want to film so i want to film the ordinary peeling solution and then search so of course this is an upgradable platform so if you want to get more features and more functions feel free to go pro but i'm just using the free one so you can see you would see a web and you'd see how so what it does is that it tells you like other keywords that people are using to search for it for can does the ordinary peeling solution work so i could make a video on that and trust me it will blow because those are videos that people are searching for so this just gives you an idea you can see that it's really detailed and it tells you why where how those are keywords that people are searching for. let me tell you i filmed this video already and it's doing well 
like i'm telling you it's doing well so trust me if you use all this method to narrow down the videos you're going to film you're going to be saving yourself a lot of stress i'm i'm telling you so finally you can also get video ideas by simply asking your audience so if you're on instagram instagram has this feature called um q and a so it's like uh, one of their extensions so you basically just type and that you can ask your um instagram followers what videos do you want to see on my instagram page and then they would answer and once they answer you're going to see all the answers and you just note it down even if you cannot film everything immediately you can just film the ones you can film now and film the rest later of course not all the suggestions suggestions are going to make sense so you need to really carefully think about them and make sure that they are aligned with your brand promise your content niche and everything your brand your channel stands for i hope this video was of help to you trust me i had to do a lot of research to get all this platforms and all this website to help you guys and before i'm sharing this i've actually practiced them all this website i've used them and i can tell you that they actually work so make sure you implement them in your content creation content development before you even do content creation to save yourself a lot of stress as i told you the ordinary peeling solution that i filmed with you know after doing all the steps is actually doing a lot better like than my <laughs> that my videos proud to so yeah try it out and let me know what you think i'll be waiting for your comments in my next video i want to hear your testimonies i want to hear um what you have to say after using it and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video in the meantime don't forget that i'll be shouting out my um subscriber of the week thank you so much for your sweet comment thank you so much for the feedback you gave me i hope you guys found this video helpful because trust me i had to do a lot of research and i had to like really use it for a couple of weeks and months for me to actually come here to, for me to understand how it works and for me to explain to you guys how it works and i hope you guys found it helpful like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on all the fun content that i'll be making again if this is the very first video that you're seeing um thank you so much this is the series that i promised this is the youtube starter kit and i'll be teaching you guys everything you need to know about creating a successful youtube channel on here and if that's something you're interested in consider subscribing to this channel and catch up with the playlist that will be attached here this playlist would also be in the description bar so you can watch the first second and third video before watching this as well i'll see you guys in my next video remain blessed bye